child. Yeah. I was raised to do that, so... What do you want? I thought you knew what I wanted. Yeah, you're not gonna have her. This picture. Reality. No, you. No, get out! Pull it out of my mind. And into the world. And I only act if the answer is yes. The answer is no. You by my side. Yeah, no. No, come on! He wants a throne? Do this bitch. Yeah. It's never gonna happen. You're serving yourself. That's true, but be careful. He's, he can be a really bad enemy. Terrible enemy. A motherless bastard born in the south. Wait, are you suggesting that she kills John? Or do something to John? Don't. Don't. Your image of being in, like, in the throne is never gonna happen, little finger. Spells were carved into his foundation. Oh, he can cross it. Strong magic. I wish you both good fortune. It's amazing that the children created the White Walkers. But they have created him as well, but he's not in for meat or anything, but rather to fight for the living instead of the dead. He always stopped. I didn't catch that the first time, but he always stopped. He always listened to that. It's not like he changed the past. He always did it. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I was, I was confused, okay. That's Leanne. She had a baby. Don't be brave. Is the baby Jean? I'm trying to put one and one together and I don't, I can't. Get this one. What? No, come on, no secrets! You have to be If Robert finds out... <gasps> Leanne, what's with... Leanne, what's... Leanne, what's... Wait, wait! Wait, wait! Hold up! This is Leanna. Robert was madly in love with Leanna, but she was kidnapped by the by by the by the Targaryen. Did 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 um the baby is is it is the baby Jean and he never cheated on 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 he never cheated on Cad and the baby's not actually like Jean is not actually a start but. A, but a Targaryen? A Targaryen bastard, but a Targaryen? Wait, no, wait, 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 no, no, no. Wait, no, wait. Um, okay. No, okay, <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I'm trying to put things together before it happened because, wait, no. Is that, is that what they're, wait, no, wait, I'm gonna wait because we don't know if the baby's there. So he arrived with the baby. That is John. That is John. That's John. That's John. He's not a Stark. He's a Targaryen, right? Because Leanne was kidnapped by the Targaryen. Find out. Am I putting right like the other thing right or not? I'm, maybe, maybe not. You turn your you back. You refuse the call. Oh my god, I hate this channel so much. And you. Yes, my not really. From this day until the last day. I stand this girl so much. I stand her. I love her. True leader. True leader right there. Oh my god. She's like, John is like, what? I'm amazed too, boy. Anymore one speaks harshly. Yeah. And truly. He is the white wolf. The king in the north. Oh my god! Well, he actually is not a Stark. But anyways, he's the king in the north. Oh! As we have for a thousand years. The north is back I together. Stand behind John Snow. The king in the north. The king in the north! Oh, no! The king in the north! Whoa! Sansa, don't tell me you're like. The king in the north! You deserve this! He's not a Stark! Well, half a Stark. We have some bad news.
is for you, Jamie. And she's gonna sit in the throne? Look at her. She successfully eliminated everyone, right? <gasps> my queen is gonna sit in the throne, though. Oh my god! Cersei Lannister! How do, you gotta give it to her. Dows of the first men. Oh my god! Protector of the seven kingdoms. Oh my god, Cersei. I don't think she's fit to. Oh my god! Queen! Oh my god! Oh my god, how badass is this though? I love this. I don't think she's gonna do a great job, but I love it anyways. Long may she reign. Long may she reign. Look at that. The first queen. Is she the first queen of Westeros? I love it, man. Fion. Yara, where's your girlfriend? Oh my god, look at that. How badass. How fucking badass. The insolence. Oh man. Oh my god, how fucking epic. Love the dragons. I love this. The dragons, my grandchildren. So fucking epic. Look at that! Oh, and Varys is right there again. So they are going to. This is amazing. You look amazing, sweetie. All of you. Now you have to fight against Cersei. This is fucking badass. amazing that was fucking fucking amazing okay guys that was the end of season six the season six finale episode 16 uh the winds of winter for game of thrones i just i there are no words to express how fucking fantastic this show is there's there are no words like it's just it's mind-blowing that a show you know have so many you know it's a show that has so many characters but the, the stakes are always so high and even if you are an important character on the show you can die at any minute and you can die at any minute not to you know, give you some sort of shock value. Uh, no, it, it's not about that. It, it's it's because the story requires that. You know, because many shows uh, do the, oh, end character can die. Many shows. There are some shows that do uh, uh, kill off really important characters and the story plays out and it was needed at the moment. Um, but there are other shows, a lot of other shows, who just give you the shock effect, the shock value. They do it just to shock people, just to get them to talk for a few days. And I feel like Game of Thrones does the, does this very well. The other show I can think that also does very well the killing of, of a character and then not just for shock value is How to Get Away with Murder. Completely different from this one, but... Uh, they also kill off characters all the time, and no one is actually, you know, completely safe. Maybe Viola Davis is safe, but the other ones, they can die at any, at any given moment. So, for me, uh, watching Game of Thrones, I feel like they can kill anyone, yes, but they won't do it because they can do it. But they do it because the story that they are telling them goes to that point, you know what I mean? I just, I think that it was just 
amazing. Everything that happened in this episode. Marjorie dying, Laura's dying, the high sub like the high sparrow, I'm glad that he's dead. And many people now will say, and, and I hate that some people think this. I if you know me, like truly know me, and you have watched me react for a bunch of shows, you know how much I hate spoilers. I hate them with passion. I hate when people tell me, not hate, but I don't like even the fact that people tell me you're gonna get excited in this episode or wait for that episode. Like I feel like it sets up expectations for me that it might be me, you might meet those expectations with the show, but at the same time I don't want to know if I'm gonna be excited, if I'm gonna be sad, if I'm gonna be scared, because I want you to have my raw reaction for whatever it is that I'm watching, because what is the fun of just knowing? Now, the fact that I that I kind of put together that it's John, Leanna's son, for me, it's because... Uh, oh no, that wasn't what I wanted to talk. Why did I knew about, or why did I cut, like I understood that they were gonna blow the deceptive up? It was because Tyrion said it on the previous episode, that there was wildfire underneath that. So I was like, why will they... The shows don't say or show you things that are not going to be important, okay? They don't show you, a, like in this episode, they don't show you a random girl looking at, at everyone and like focuses on a random girl if it's not gonna pay, pay off. That random girl was Arya. And same thing with what Tyrion said in the previous episodes about that. Why, why mention it? They mention these things because they actually, if you listen, they will play off, pay off. Now, I didn't expect for Tommen to die. Like, that was unexpected. Like, I didn't thought that that was gonna happen. M eventually, maybe he was gonna get killed because he had a too, like, a too kind heart. And I thought, I didn't see it, like, him living a lot longer. I didn't see that. But I think that, that, um, what, what Cersei was planning it was good. It was good that she was planning that and that I, I saw it coming because of what Tyrion said. Now with Leanne, Leanna, uh, when they were like, I understood also that uh, when uh, Ned turns around in this opportunity, uh, what's his name? Bran didn't, didn't say anything, but he stopped either way. So that already had happened. Okay, so when he arrived at that moment and you see Liana and all of that, Liana was engaged or was she was stole from the uh, the Targaryen dude, like kidnapped her. That's how everything started. But apparently, she, either she got raped or she actually had a thing with the Targaryen, and she, he kidnapped her, and that is what sets uh, Robert into the. I'm gonna kill him and blah 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 and because he stole Leanna because we have to we have to remember that Robert loved Leanna that was the love of his life you know it will have changed if he will know that she actually gave birth to a land to a Targaryen so Jean is a Targaryen and and I understand Ned now why he you know brought you know just out of the blue he brought John in, and and even if Cat didn't like him, even if Cat hated him, he was like, no, he deserves, he has to be here because he's my son, and he took upon him to protect this boy, and to protect him because John is actually Lyanna's son, so he's half Stark, half Targaryen. I mean, he 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 still has uh, Stark blood, but it's not from Ned but from Lyanna, and he is a Targaryen, meaning that Danny is not the last Targaryen alive, and now Bran knows about it. Will Bran tell Jean about this? Am I reading this? No, I don't think I'm reading this in the wrong way. That is what they are implying. That is what happened. And because the eyes, the, the baby opens the eyes, and then they focus on Jean. It's Jean, okay? It's Jean. So that was just, that was a twist I wasn't expecting. That was a twist I wasn't expecting. Uh, 
And he's not, he's not a Stark. He's a Targaryen. Half a star, half Targaryen, but it, it, I, when you're like, for instance, Sansa is a, is a Stark. You don't say, oh, Sansa's half, to totally half uh, Stark. She's a Stark. So Jon is a fucking Targaryen. So does that have anything to do with the fact that the lore of the light brought him back? Because on the other side, with that other priest, she said that she is the promised leader or the promised queen or whatever it is from the Lord of of Light because the Lord of Light because she has the dragons and the dragons breathe fire and that is the thing with the Lord of Light. And now you have Jean, who's also a Targaryen. Can he burn? Have we seen him burn? Maybe he's not a racism. We have to remember uh What's his, uh, Danny's brother's name? It's not Varys. I don't remember his name, but he, he didn't tolerate <laughs> fire that well. <laughs> um, but oh my god, I, I wasn't expecting that. But you kind of, if you look back, you kind of say, why, w why did we never knew about, uh, John's mother like why was it never mentioned why and you know Ned took that with him to the grave it was just oh my god to protect him I understand but will the people you know that they just pledge their loyalty to the king in the north because he's a Stark even if he's not he's a bastard but he is still a Stark and he turns out he Technically, is it <laughs> how things work? Technically, the only Stark right there is, is still Sansa. Now, fucking little finger for trying to put things on 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 Sansa's mind about you know the fact that Jon is the one who represents a threat or something. I hope he dies next season. Let's kill little finger. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but the thing is that I just I find this episode that. It just, it had moved the pieces. It's like, all this time, we have been playing chess, and a lot of pieces have fallen, a lot of things have moved, and we're finally in that moment where all the pieces are right where they have to be to start war. It's just like, it's just magnificent, because, uh, look. Danny finally got everything she needed. Like, if you will remember seasons when uh, she wanted to take West Westeros, she needed an army, then she needed ships to move the army to the other side, she needed her dragons to be big enough to actually pose a threat. She needed all of that. She didn't have any. You know, she slowly, 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 she started, started uh, uh, getting all the things that she needed. Now she has everything. It's time to sail. And I fucking love that. Now, the conversation between Olena, uh, the other chick from... Oh, what is her, her name? Well, her. I don't remember her name. The Oberyn's wife. Um, the conversation that they had and the fact that Varys shows up it means that there's a link there, right? Danny is going to go to meet those two and to form an, an alliance with them. But she's finally out Westeros, bitches. She's finally out Westeros. I'm so excited for that. But anyway, they're gonna, they're gonna, I, I feel like they're gonna meet and they're gonna like try to uh, fight uh, against the Lannisters. Everybody, like, Olena has, she wants revenge. El Olena and the other chick also wants revenge from the Lannisters. Now, the bigger war and the true war is the one that we're having up north with uh, the freaking uh, night, well, not the night watch, but the, uh, the walkers and, and, and the white walkers and all of that. So that's the real war that we're going to have. Uh, so if she's in this side and the war is here, how are we going to do it? I don't know. I'm interested in seeing that. The fact that, you know, Tyrion is named the Hand of the Queen is just amazing. Uh, 
um, I don't know how Cersei is gonna be a queen now because I feel like after losing Joffrey she didn't want I feel like she still didn't want to believe the um, the curse that the witch told her back when she was still a kid and then she um, so Mar Marcella died. So when I I think that when she saw when she find out that Tommen was dead, she was like, well, I always knew. So it was like she she already her heart is so like dark and so guarded and so hard that she just moved on, continue playing the game because she's this the only thing she has left. You know, she, she's this is the only thing that. She doesn't know how it's gonna end, and it can be unpredictable, and she, you know, might want to win that. So, she's a queen now. Now, I don't think she necessarily uh, wanted the king to die, but if... Well, they, they wouldn't have known that it was her, but everybody knows that it was her. But still, if uh, Cersei wanted for Tommen to die she will have sent him there she kept him in his room now she didn't lock the windows <laughs> that's a bad thing you know you have when you have children you have to lock the windows uh and he jumped i just i can't believe he was like nope i'm done with life bang dead uh i feel bad and also in this episode we lost marjorie and i love that she when she was like wait wait but Cersei's not here her son is not here the king she knows that what what is gonna cause she's not gonna face the consequences you know uh and she knows she she's playing the game very well and all of that and and she knew that something was gonna happen no one listened to her and all of them died but now if she will have gone out you know i, I think it was too late the minute that she arrived in the in that in in the scepter she was gonna die because uh, you know what? I don't want to say that she's gonna die because I haven't seen a body, but Elena just said that she was dead, but until I don't see a body It's not for sure because that happened with the hound. He's back, but I don't know. I don't think she can survive that. <laughs> Let's be honest um, What was I saying? Yeah, so she knew and I like that she knew But it was too late when she actually realized what was happening um, yeah, I feel sad about that. I feel sad about that. But anyways, um, what else happened in the episode? The lady, la lady? Yeah, well, the kid, the kid, uh, Liana, that's her name as well. She is, like, if she decides to be queen, I'm gonna support her. Because she is, you know, she's an, she has a natural talent to lead. The, there are like what, what what other child does that she's fucking amazing she was like she read them all of them like grown up and then she was like right there to the point and uh, you bitches know i'm right you never support it uh you didn't support him so you don't have a right to complain and like kneel and, and like oh my god that was amazing even jean was like what like you need to get her like in the council or something or make her hand of the king in the north because my god th that kid is just fucking amazing um yeah also bran is at the wall so that means that eventually he will get to winterfell again uh will that put john's um position uh in jeopardy because we have another one like a trueborn son of Ned Stark on Winterfell even though he's a three-eyed the raven the three-eyed raven I don't know how you call it but he is so will he say no I don't I'm I'm getting rid of all my titles and I give up to being a Stark and whatever we'll see it in the next episode okay what is the title of episode seven of season one wait what episode one of season seven Dragonstone. Dragonstone. Isn't that the, the Baratheon's place? Okay. But still, I want to see that. Oh, God, I want to see everything. But anyways, I'm excited. Next season, only seven episodes, which means that probably in the month of July, I will be done 
with uh, Game of Thrones and ready to watch uh, season 8. Now, after I watch season 7 of Game of Thrones, there's a lot of extra content that I'm still going to publish for Game of Thrones. The lore, history and lore that I watched the first three for the first three seasons, I'm still going to watch for the remaining four seasons. Uh, I think there are blooper reactions, there are bloopers as well behind the scenes, maybe interviews, things like that. Or and when the trailer arrives for season eight, I'm also gonna watch it. I hope that they don't release it on Comic Con though, because if they release it on Comic Con in July. If I finish, then I will react to it. If if I don't, then I have to wait. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hurry up. I don't think I'm gonna do it on the first 15 days. Maybe I maybe I do. I don't know. It's seven episodes. It's not that much. So I'm gonna focus on finishing that on the month of July for sure. So yeah, a lot of content is coming your way, even if I finish with season seven. So recommendations for all of that let me know but not right now really because it's not like i'm gonna watch it but after season seven you can tell me but you can start saving links so you can send me or send them to me i'm not gonna watch them until i'm done uh but you, you know what no don't send me because they might be spoilery and i don't want that um but yeah what else i'm not talking well Thean is there yara is there is she gonna marry is she gonna marry danny probably not but it still is a good thing to hope for um what else i don't think i'm forgetting anything else well Sansa, like i said i talked about Sansa a lot and i think that i hope that she doesn't start dreaming about sitting in the throne now Remember that that thing with Danny in that dream sequence or whatever that she had when she was in the with that witches with the war warlocks the bull ones. Um, she she arrived at the Iron Throne, and the Iron Throne, you know, Winter had come and Winter like five six seasons for Winter to come. Like okay, but Winter is here. But the thing is that in that whole thing, winter was there. Everything was like, like um, in ruins, and it, the, the snow was falling. And she got near the throne, and she almost touched it, but she didn't touch it. And for me, I always remember that because I'm, I'm like, will she? Will that be foreshadowing of the fact that she will be so close to touching it? But at the end of the day, that's not gonna matter that the fact that she sits on the Iron Throne is not gonna matter because winter is here uh, and with winter it comes the, you know, the, the White Walkers and all that so, yeah, I'm excited to watch season 7, you cannot believe it and I'm not gonna do any pause, I'm not gonna pause, I'm not gonna take a week break nothing i'm just gonna continue next week maybe you will have one or two and then the following week you have three and then two more and we will be done but i'm not stopping at all um you can't stop after that episode you can't stop um but yeah that's it i don't think i have anything else to say other than this show is fucking fantastic i cannot believe it took me so long to watch but i have loved the uh journey that i have taken with all of you here on my channel and i hope you guys you know support by giving a lot of thumbs up also sharing it share it with your friends with more uh game of thrones fans that will be amazing um and yeah i'm ready for season well i will be ready for, i'm ready for season seven right now so yeah uh that's it yeah. Mm, what else happened? That's it. That's it. The explosion was badass. The fact that, uh, what is his name? Oh, the other. I don't remember him. He died. The fact that, you know, <laughs> Cersei got rid of all of her enemies. That was badass as well. Even if you don't like Cersei, you cannot deny that that was a badass move to eliminate everyone. You know, everyone who was standing in her way, she completely eliminated them all. And now she's the queen. The queen. Like, not queen mother, not, you know, the queen because, you know, she was married to the king. But she's the actual queen of Westeros. So, take a moment. Take a moment. She has, she has gone so far, my queen. But anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribing, commenting, on reaction with... 
an hour and a half of reaction and review. You can you can go and watch that on Patreon. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time for another reaction video for Game of Thrones. Mwah. Bye, guys.